Greetings, my friends. Jimmer Linz here with your Source Filmmaker Tip of the Day. Today is Tip of the Day number 45. Thank you, as always, for subscribing, for watching, and for all the great feedback that I've been getting. It is sincerely appreciated. In today's Tip of the Day, I am going to show you how you can create ragdolls with your uh, animations. And this is something I've seen come up a few times where people have asked, well, how do I make a model that I've spawned go into ragdoll mode? For example, if they've been shot, you want them to fall down, or uh, if they trip on something, or they you know, fall down off of a cliff, I want them to, to just do the ragdoll physics thing that you see in the game. And the reason you can't really do it easily in the Source Filmmaker itself is simply because Source Filmmaker does not include most of that physics stuff. You'll notice that you can move objects through other objects. None of the physics is really enabled in Source Filmmaker. Uh, but it is enabled in the TF2 engine that is inside of Source Filmmaker. So you can produce things like this, for example. There's going to be a scout run in here, and then he turns into a ragdoll and falls on his face. And you might ask... How did I do that? Well, it's pretty simple, although if you're not familiar with console commands or uh, certain other aspects of uh, Source Filmmaker, or excuse me, of uh, TF2, it might not be immediately apparent, so I will show you. So the way I did this is uh, I'm going to go ahead and switch into the engine mode, and uh, I am going to open the uh, uh, console, and then I'm going to type bind t kill, okay? And uh, you can set it to whatever you want. Most people prefer to bind it to K, but I use a Dvorak keyboard, so it uh, works a little differently. But bind bind the uh, kill command to a keyboard command that you want, and then whenever you press the K key or the uh, the key on your uh, keyboard that you bound, you die. Uh, you fall down, and your character ragdolls. And this is how you can create the effect that you want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and close this, and I'm going to hit the uh, the record button again. And uh, there goes my first one, the one I recorded earlier. And I'm going to wait for the timer to time out, and then I'm going to run out here while the other guy is dying over there. Now I'm going to hit the K key when I come over here. Boom. And he falls down. Then I'm going to hit Escape, stop the recording. I'm going to switch the camera again. Actually, I'm just going to... Switch to the work camera, and we'll just watch from over here, he said. And now when I press play, you're going to see the first scout I recorded come out there and fall down on his face, and then the second one come out here and fall down on his face. So this is the kind of thing that you could use in conjunction with statically animated models uh, to create these ragdoll effects. Um, like, for example, if you wanted somebody to trip over a rock on the ground because you're making a funny video, you just have them walking along or something like that, and then you can record yourself uh, doing this, and then you could blade in that shot, or you could blend them together so that you can connect the existing one to the new one. You will might have to do a little bit of fiddling around to connect an existing statically animated model to a ragdolled model and get the timing just right. Uh, but it is definitely doable, especially if you uh, can take advantage of a little bit of camera trickery. Uh, and for example, like if I was setting up a scene where this guy fell down and then I wanted him to get back up, well, I would take the uh, existing, I would blade the shot and then I would take the existing model where it stands because I could just create an animation set for an existing model, for example. In fact, I'll just demonstrate what I'm talking about. It's easier to do that than to, uh, let's see, create an animation set for an existing element. And then uh, scout.md, I'll need to actually grab the right scout model since there's a bunch of them. Since I've, There we go. And now, uh, let's say that I wanted him to get up after he fell down. Well, I might wait until he stops moving. And then I can blade the shot right here. And then uh, I can go into here. And I could get him to, and I'm just going to do something very simple here. I could get him to move and stand up, although that's that's really horrifying, actually. But uh, you get the idea, which is that uh, I can go from he's down here and he's fallen down, and I can make him, I can animate him. I just did a quick, 
have him stand up kind of thing, just changed his orientation in space. But the point is, I don't even have to do anything special with this. I can, uh, um, let me just control Z all this. I could even go so far as to just make him, for example, move his arm uh, like he's about to get up. Where is it? There it is, his right hand. Well, he doesn't have a rig applied, so I'm not going to bother with that right now. The idea, though, is that this is a regular model. It's just not in the in the static pose that you're normally familiar with when you create an animation set for a model. But uh, I could then animate this as I saw fit and make it stand up. I could animate it walking around. He could get up and dust himself off, walk over and pick up his uh, his scatter gun and and start running again. All of that is possible uh, to do. So. That's your uh, Source Filmmaker tip of the day. That's how you can produce effects using ragdoll physics, which uh, is only uh, possible within uh, the in-game engine as opposed to within Source Filmmaker's animation tools. Unless, of course, you just want to animate your ragdolling manually, which I know some people do, and it, you know, that is, it can be time-consuming, but then you don't have to go through this step. So whatever works for you. Uh, and there is your Source Filmmaker tip of the day. I am your friend Jimmer Linz. I hope that you found this useful. Uh, I look forward to bringing you the next tip of the day tomorrow. And uh, in the meantime, have a great day and enjoy using Source Filmmaker.